Hi guys and welcome. In this lecture, I'm going to explain some commands from the annotation palette. So, this is the annotation palette. First of all, I'm going to show you how to insert a text and how to edit it. Okay? So, when you click on the text options, you can see that there is the multi-line text and the single line text. For example, let's put a title for this circle and type a circle in it. Let's select the single line. Now, as you can see, the text command has been activated on the command bar. So, they are telling you to specify start point. I want it to start from this point. Then, they are telling you to specify the height. You can whether just choose anything or type the exactly height that you want. I'm gonna choose 10 for example. Then they are telling you to specify the rotation angle of the text. I want the text to be horizontal, okay? Now let's type circle. And then if you wanna enter, press enter and put another text. Or you can press double enter to end this command. Double enter. As you can see, the session has ended. Now, what if you want to change the size of this again? If you have chose the wrong size of this text or this text, you can always do the right click, then go. I'm sorry. Activate the text, then right click, go to properties, and then you can scroll down to the text, and then go to the text height. Here, you can change it for 5, for example, then press enter. You can see that the size of this text has been changed. Then again, you can press, for example, 20, then press enter can see that this size of this text has been changed and this is how to change the size of this text now how about press escape to deselect let's move this text from this point just a little bit down okay this is good now let's explain the dimension command when you go to the dimension command from this button and click on the arrow, you can see that there is a lot of commands for the dimension. You have the linear, the align, the angular, arch, radius, diameter, ordinate, and jog. Let's start with the linear and see what does it do. The linear dimension command will give you the x and the y length of any line you have put. For example, the length of this line in the x direction is 106.53. So let's choose it again and do it in for this line. You can see that the length of this line in the y direction is 83.8. .8. But what if we have this aligned aligned line? If you chose the linear dimension and then put it from this point to this point, you can see it, it whether it will give you the x or the y dimension for this align. I mean, they will give you the projection of this line in the y or in the x direction. So... This is for the linear dimension. But what if I want the exact length of this line? You will have to go to the align dimension. So when you choose this line from this to this, you will see that this length, the length of this line is 27.91. So if you want to change some properties, of the dimension for example the size of the arrows when you zoom and you can see that there's arrows the size of the arrows the placement of the text the size of the text 
you have to go to something that is called from here go I'm sorry go to the dimension go to the annotate and then go to the dimension here and there is something called the dimension style you will have this window will appear to you okay the type of dimension that you are using is the ISO 25 if you wanna modify this you have to select it and then go to modify now you can change some options for example to go for the lines the colors of these lines the line type and the line weight the thickness and then you can see that there is some baseline spacing it is set to 3.75 you can change it for example to 5 when you press enter it opens anywhere else you can see that the spacing or the baseline spacing has been increased let's look back to 3.75 okay now, there are some extensions lines. By the extensions line, I mean this line that sets the dimension or tells you that this dimension belongs to which line. There is also the line type, the line weight, and other options. There is here some samples and arrows. You can change the first arrow. There is some closed field, closed blank, closed dot architectural text, oblique, there is a lot of arrows the type, but I always like the closed field one. Okay, there's the arrow size. The arrow size is set to 2.5. You can change it, for example, for 5, enter. And then you can see that the, the size of the arrow has changed. Let's look, for example, for 10. Let's enter can see that the size of the arrow has increased but let's set it back to 2.5 enter you can see that the line size or the arrow size has been decreased to 2.5 okay now let's go to the text tab and there's the text style text color the fill color we have the text height you can change the text type for example for 5, 2, this is for example for 2.5, this is for 10 for example, this is large one, this is for 2.5, this is to 1 for example, the text height 2.5 and you can change some other properties from here fit primary units alternate units tolerance this is where you can change the text and the arrow shape and the size of the arrows let's set it back to 7 Text height, fraction of height is 1. Row frames around text. You didn't like this. You can see that there's some kind of frame are drawn around the text. You don't want that. Okay, then you can press OK. Close. But if you want to change just one dimension option, you can activate this line. Right click, go to properties, and then move down to the text size. And you may, can make it for 2.5, then press enter. You can see that it has been changed, has been small. You can change it for 10, for example, larger than the usual. And this is where you can change the size or the properties of only one dimension object but if you want to change 
the properties of the whole dimensioning thing, you can go to the place that I told you just before, here, and then to dimension style, okay, and then modify. But if you want to change only for one thing, for example this, you can choose, choose it, activate it, then right click and then go to the property, okay. Press the escape, escape again. Now let's talk about other dimensioning thing. We talked about the linear one, the aligned one. Now we can go to the angular. And the angular, it will give you the angle of any angle between two lines. There's only you select arc, circle or line. Select this line and then this line. As you can see, you can choose it whether it's here, it's here, here, here. I want from here. Click. Again, let's choose the angular one. Let's see between this line and this line, for example. You can see this here, for example. And there are some other options for the angular. There's the arc length. Let's, for example, choose the arc length of this one. You have to, to create an arc over here. Let's, for example, go to the fillet. Then select the radius, press R, enter. The radius, let's put it for 10, for example. And now let's do this and this. Excellent. Now you can see that the line has been upgraded or the dimension here has been upgraded. You can whether do this and move it from here to this point in here and the line length will be the same as the old one. Now we're going back to the arc length. Let's select this arc. As you can see, I want this. You can see that the arc length of this one is 15.71. Okay? And they are telling you, they are giving you this sign to tell you that the length. For this arc, from this point to this point, from this center, is 15.71, okay? Let's go to see some other options, zoom out. Let's, for example, see, let's go here, the angular, the radius, let's select the circle. See, the radius of the circle is, the R is for radius. And the radius is 35.67. Let's see the diameter. Select the cir circle. You can see that this phi sign is for the diameter. And the R sign is for the radius. So don't be confused. The R is for the radius. And the phi is for the whole diameter. From this to this. Okay, now let's see some other options. There's the coordinate, specify feature location from here, for example, to here. They give you the, co the coordinate of this point. Let's, for example, get again and choose this point. They are telling you that the coordinate of this point is 124.67 from the origin, okay? Let's see the other option, the jogged one. The jogged one will give you the diameter or the radius of an arc when the arc has changed. So, here we have the same... Specify center location override from this point. You can see that it is the same 
it will give you the same diameter since this circle has the same diameter but if you, ha if you have some kind of arc over here arc then the arc has changed the diameter then something else it will be very helpful and there are some other options you can for example insert a table let's see this is the, the a preview of the table and the type of the table is standard and there is the number of columns the number of the row height, the data rows. They are telling you that there is one data row. Let's make it, for example, four. The column width. Let it be for the default. I will not change it. Let's see here. The title will be the title or the header. Or it will be just only data. And the second line or the second row will be the header. You can change it for data, it will be all data and only one title. It depends on how you want to create your tables. But this is the default settings for the tables, okay? The data you can put, come on, also, <clears throat> another header. But let's put it back for data. Click OK. And select the point that you want to insert your table in. And as you can see, it looks like an Excel sheet, something. You can always press on the wheel of the mouse and move it up and down to select the pan, okay? You don't have to go back here and select the pan. Always click on the wheel to move up and move down, okay? So here you can put anything, title and press enter you can enter some data anything you want press right and left to move between the cells and then enter anything you want and then press the escape press escape again and this is the table has been created as simple as that okay and thanks for listening